right, we'd like to continue our meeting, April 27, 2017, room 107 at the Deerfield Town Offices, 8 Conway Street, on the application of Brian Arthurton, 189 High Street, Greenfield, Massachusetts, for a special permit for the change of use to operate an RV repair shop at 707 Greenfield Road, Deerfield. And we sent you away last time to get a couple of more answers for us. It was one that was a letter from the police chief and yeah, please come up. Ben, um, yeah. I need to interrupt for a minute. Sure. Well, um, so I, Linda, I, I am aware of, I think, what you're going to bring up. Okay. And so what I want to do is just, just see if we've got any more information and then let's, okay. let's handle that issue. So um, were you able to get a new letter from the police chief? I didn't need a letter, he said, but I did communicate with him. Okay. Um, his concern was particularly the walk and its customers that happened to, I guess, get drunk. Um, so his concerns was for security. Okay. And so I basically showed him what I have printed out today, which is what I showed you on the Apple tablet before. Um, so he's aware that we're going to have lighting that's going to be on at night, just like the other properties to the north. Um, but that was his biggest concern was if somebody's stumbling on the property, how can we see them if there's no lighting? So that was his key point there. Okay. Um, so between that, we are going to be installing security cameras anyhow, which sounds like it's above and beyond what he expected, but that's fine. Um, and he knows the entrance points of the building are only on the front, so that helps him on that sense as well. Um, and that's really his only concern that he had there. Okay. Then we explained to him um, at a later date, we plan to put a gate across what would be the entrance to our place. So if we do have any RVs out front, whether it's for sales or otherwise, we don't have to worry about somebody coming in and stealing it. Sure. And so we would have that up prior to even addressing that kind of issue. Gotcha. Um, and he was, so he was happy with what I said. You know, like other people have said, you guys have pl planned this out as best you can. I sure. says yes. Well, so I guess I'd like to then just kind of go off on a different tangent, which is that we reviewed the application and it seems like there's a couple of uh, questions that we okay. have. And the first one is the owner that you listed on the application. Is that the current owner? The uh, Michael Zupre is the current owner. Uh, but it was uh, Arthur. My realtor is here with me here. Sean has the uh, contract information. So this says property owner Michael and Judith Arthurton. That would be my parents. Okay. They're, we're forming an LLC for the property. So that would be your plan to purchase this property in that? Correct. Uh, then what we have is in the sale agreement of this property is contingent upon the approval from ZBA for the zone, for the usage change as part of the contractual aspect of okay. it. Okay. Well, we are not going to be able to give you permission without the owners. And we do have that in the contract. That's why my realtor is here with me. It's sure. already a signed, written document. Um, but at minimum, the other way I thought about it, I can suge suggest to you, is if you wanted to wait till it's actually in our possession, what we would ask is that you would go ahead and vote on it contingent upon us owning it. So you're not actually changing it, but that allows us to come back, let's say, in May at your other meeting and finalize sure. it. That, that's something that we thought could be usable. Well, so without a letter uh, authorizing you to apply for the special permit, and we would need a copy of that from the owner, with their signature on it. You want to speak on this, Sean? We, we are not going to be able to vote yes on it. And as far as uh, doing something <coughs> voting and having a contingency, the other part that's missing from your plan, uh, it, from your, your application, is a site plan. And okay. that's something that's really specifically enumerated in the special we, permit. We were instructed that it would not be needed in this case. Well, it's, it seems like it is going to be, well, it, it is needed per the zoning, but also the police chief, I see there's another letter in here and he still That's what he was questioning about. Plan. And I, when I spoke with Dick for the building inspection, he had implied that we did not need it. When I talked to the police chief about it, he was okay with that. Gotcha. Well, so I think that it makes our job really difficult to look at the specifics of this situation without that plan, without being able to see where you're going to have parking, where you're going to have the light. You know, you showed us a couple of images. Right. Um, so I guess at this point, we really can't vote yes. Um, so you have a couple of options. You okay. could continue and get us a site plan and get all the appropriate parties a site plan so that they can review it. And 
uh, and come back to us when you have all of that information along with the signature of the owner. Or we can, uh, we can allow you to withdraw your application without prejudice at this point, which would allow you to reapply. Uh, if we vote, I'm afraid we're going to have to vote no, which then is going to give you uh, like a couple of years where you're not going to be able to come back before us. Yeah, and that wouldn't be good because we'd look at relocate. So, so with the site plan, what exactly would that entail? Because this is a pre-existing building with a pre-existing parking environment. Right. This was supposedly already zoned and approved by this board for the use of that property as being a boat repair, which is the same classification which we're doing now. However, the property owner never complied with installing that bathroom. Gotcha. So, so I only know that as, as part of the zoning requirements, a site plan is a requirement okay. in order to come before us and, and be granted a special permit. Okay. Um, so I know that that is missing and also the signature of the owner is missing at this point. So. I'm happy to, you know, we already sure. went over a lot of our concerns in the last yeah. meeting, and I hope that that gave you some information. Yeah, um, it did. But without those items, you kind of have three options. You can continue, you can withdraw it, or I suppose we could vote, but I, it would have to be a no, and I don't think that's what right. you want. Did you want to say anything, Sean? Uh, no, I would just say as long as we leave this meeting, you know exactly what we need going forward. Right. Because your departments have explained to us that we did not need a site plan, and so there's been a miscommunication within the town sure. here where it hasn't been exactly easy for us to figure everything out. We sure. thought we had everything all well, set I to would, go. I would definitely go to the zoning book and okay. go through the Board of Appeals and uh, specifically 5,300 special permits. Okay. Um, it's pretty clear. Whenever a special permit is filed with a special permit granting authority or application, the applicant shall also file within three working days of the filing of the completed application with said authority, copies of the application, accompanying site plan, and okay. other documentation to the Board of Health, Conservation Commission, Building Inspector, Director of Public Works, Police Chief, Fire Chief, for their consideration, review, and report. Okay. So without that, they really haven't had the ability to scrutinize, you know, look at the site, sure. see what kind of parking you have, see what kind of access, sure. light security, all that sort of thing. Okay. So. Well, it sounds like there needs to be some upgrades in the permitting process so we're a little more aware of these things sure and well this clarity is a on staff resource here. and and there are uh you know there's a lot of people that can help you sure. going forward and i apologize okay. that that wasn't a smooth process yeah i kind of brought it up with the uh, architect to see what kind of cost is involved in that because sure. really yeah i don't think that the site plan site. has to be very extensive i don't maybe dick maybe you can shed some light on uh, yep. you're going to have to do you're going to have to basically take a plot line proposed parking spaces on for specifically RV vehicles, okay? It should show the septic system where it's going, the tank location where it's going, any storage area like trash containers. Right. And they should be very simple. It's not, not rocket science. You blow up a plot plan and you show the driveways. Uh, for example, I'm just going to pick an arbitrary number. The average trailer might be 30 feet long. The average truck that hauls it 20 feet long. So, if you were parking a truck in a trailer, it'd be a 50 foot parking space, correct? Right. And the width of that would probably be normal width, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, 12. 10 foot for a parking space would be probably normal. Yeah, so, yeah. you have to address that. Now, once he gets this permit, okay, I've done some research on that. Uh, I heard that I wasn't at the last meeting, apologize for that, <laughs> but I just heard retail sales mentioned. Okay? That is not, I don't believe, is that on the application? It is it not. Is. No, well, it's I thought just, it was. Uh, it's special not permit on the application, RV repair. You can't discuss it or have a vote on it. Right. Uh, so you're restricted okay. from that. And I think that would cover rental too, if I'm yes. right, retail yeah, and rental. I specifically have to say, retail sales or rentals. If you look in the bylaw and the zoning section, you'll see that it'll say retail sales with exterior display right. or interior okay. display. You mm -hmm. guys have to decide on that too, whether retail sales can be exposed to the outside or not. And I think the retail sales might also trigger site plan review, is that? The retail, well, that's only by the zoning board. Okay. Not by the, uh, not by the planning board. The sure. building is not 75 feet square feet. It doesn't right. fall under the sprinkler system scenario stuff. So, 
And those are those are the things: the septic system, the bathroom, the. Uh, what about signage? We just became aware from a wiring inspector in the past couple of days that uh, the lighting and the fixtures inside the building now comes under his jurisdiction. We have the explosion proof. Uh, there's a couple of issues that I don't know about that need to be researched, and one is I don't know what to do with a trailer when it comes in with septic in it. Well, it depends if it's being serviced or not. Well, if it's being serviced, there's a, a local RV place they can dump that. You can't. There's, there's, there's an issue. You can't bring an RV into that particular site unless you have a dump scenario that you can dump into the septic tank or whatever. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's another. So I can bring that up to Bill Serta and see what it takes yeah, to exactly. do something like that. Yeah, that has to be clarified. So there's a lot of things that have to be clarified above and beyond. You guys are site plan, traffic control, et cetera, and right. whatever. And the retail sales and that. I hope that explains. That has a lot of clarity. He's been out for a few weeks. <laughs> yes, well, I'm glad he's feeling better. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I was, you know, was going to follow up with that with the concern about sales, uh, definitely concerned about painting. Um, no motor vehicle repair, you know, I think. Yeah, the, that stuff I think we already clarified on that. Right. There was some concern about impervious surfaces, how much is impervious surface, but all your traffic and parking and everything will clarify that for yeah. us, I think. Um, yeah, we're planning on doing uh, like TRG or something as the parking surface so the water can still process through. Perfect. And it works good. Uh, then, um, but yeah, for the sales thing, I think with, with us, with the uh, design center, if somebody wants to purchase mail order and they want to come and pick it up, the idea is they can walk in and pick it up. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you're talking at some point down the line of selling trailers. There'd be small ones, not. Right. Dick was talking about the big ones, like you have like Orchard or mm -hmm. Diamond. We're not looking for that. Right. Uh, happy, happier Camper is one of the ones we're looking at carrying. It's not much longer than this table. Sure, sure. Um, if we were to go into that, but at least at minimum, let's say I restore a trailer. We have it. We own it. We want to be able to sell it. You want right. to be able to put it out front. So I think I think that you're, if that is in your plan, that your application should include that in some way. Okay. Just so I was giving the impression it didn't, not coming after didn't you. really have to go in there because it was already zoned with sure. that C2. So that makes some clarity there. So we can. Perfect. So probably be best to just withdraw it, recorrect that. It's that's up check to you with whether you want to withdraw or whether you want to continue. Uh, but continuing would mean I think it would have to be as soon as next month. Well, yeah, to. we we need to get this done as as quick as we can. Being a sure. service-minded business, we, <laughs> it's tough when you open middle of the season and Absolutely. plan to make profits. So, all right. Um, but if we continue, the problem with the sales not being on that, so we need to correct that. So the only way to correct that is to withdraw it. Correct. I'm not sure if that's the only way to correct that, Bob. Do you have any idea? The sales thing has to be corrected by advertisement in the paper again. Okay. It's going to be repairs and retail sales. Uh, that would have to be re advertised for that. You, you could continue it. this and give them the repair only at a later time. Okay. Or they come back later for that. But then he would have to go through this all over again for the retail sales or rentals. Would that affect the mail order person from coming in? I don't know about that. <laughs> See, that makes a huge difference for me. Right. So if it does, so then wanna, we need to make sure we go through that. You want someone now. to be able to buy something and come and pick it up. Catalog and come and pick yeah, it up. Yeah, online. I, mean, I think that's retail up. sales. It's retail sales. Okay. See, yeah, that's inside retail sales. Okay. Just like going to see the robots. Sure. You're buying it off the shelf or buying it through the catalog. Right. Okay. So. Sounds like we have to withdraw it so that we can get that sales part aspect of it attached to it. I think that that sounds like that's probably the most sensible option for you. Okay. Um, can we have clarity on when we're going to actually meet next time instead of us showing up and nobody So the here? best way to do that is to come to the office here and speak to Pat Kroll. Okay. She's the one that gets us scheduled and okay. make sure that we can all be here. That's what happened last time. We left the letter and nothing happened okay, with it. Okay, I didn't and know that. so that's why we're sitting here last week assuming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got a phone call about it. Yeah. We definitely <laughs> didn't have a meeting scheduled. Yeah, I told her, I go, no, we need to get in there. All right, so let's let's withdraw that, and then that okay. way we can get this corrected and back on track. Perfect. So I and think that way, someone needs to make a motion then to allow them to withdraw. I make a motion that we allow 
and to make to withdraw this. Draw that. Yes. You should get it I writing mean, from. Then, like to make a suggestion. Please. How does the plot line? The quicker he turns it in, the guys would have a chance to see it before the next meeting. Absolutely. Okay. So, mm -hmm. if there was a problem or you had questions sure. individually, you could address that before the next meeting, so that, so that plot we don't. line could be. That's usually how it's done. Sure. Okay. Right, because really that plan should be in within three days of the application coming in. So. Correct. So I'll get a hold of the architects. I kind of asked them that question yeah, last week, and they just got back from vacation apparently today. So I will see how quick they can put Perfect. something together on that. You want to get something in writing? Yeah. I think you should have it in writing. Well, I mean, you got it on camera at least. <laughs> we think. <laughs> we hope. Yeah. <laughs> The writing for the sake of its being legal. I would think it would be it would tie the file up nicely, uh, oh. so the file got opened three years later or five years later, it would show that he actually made a formal with request. Okay. Would you be adverse to that? To Somebody interrupting. I forgot to turn it off. To just signing something that says yeah, you that's withdraw fine. your application. Yeah, and bring it up for a later date. That's fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It just Perfect. clears it. Mm -hmm. Right. So did someone second that Linda's motion? All in favor? Linda, you vote? In favor. Bernie? Yeah, okay, as well. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> we got five. Bob wasn't here. <laughs> All right. I didn't vote. He didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I remember he was here last week and he's yeah. like, I can't do anything because I wasn't here. I'm like, I know. <laughs> right, he was here for the sewer study, I think. Yeah. So, all right. So I'll check with her and we'll see. I'll check with the architect for tomorrow. Excellent. Hopefully in two weeks we can be back here and great. Yeah, we'll get we some need. finality. Okay. Great. Here, here Thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank you. So we have a couple of minutes. Um, before we leave? Yeah. Brian? Brian. Oh. We, we need something from you, I guess. Yeah, I'm not going far. Okay. Oh, okay. Before we leave. As I was thinking about that. All right. Uh, I don't think we have. Let me look through here and see if we have any more business. Uh, fill out this attendance. So we got. Yeah. That's what I want. The water line comes in from almost parallel. Lake Asphalt. South, just south of our fence base. You're looking probably at that lot in the corner of that next to the house. Yeah. Yeah. So basically right across the street from that fire marshal. Was it? Yeah. Because there's, there's like a couple of well piles there. Okay. It uh, looks like it's. Uh, yeah, well, it doesn't look like we have any more business, so. If someone would like to make a motion that we adjourn. Oh, I have a question. Yeah, please. How about these three gentlemen here? Oh, so that's right where it is. So that'd be easy. Just across this right. I guess that makes the most sense at this point. Yeah, I think so. Well, he's gonna. It's gonna be a whole new show. Sure. Well, we'll be happy to hear all of that. Absolutely. Yeah. Just keep your eye on the paper, and they'll they'll uh, put it out in the posting or anything. Are you guys a buggers? Yeah. We're working with Sure. They do. No, that's absolutely important to us too. Sure. Well, well, we'll dig into it next time. Thank you guys. I'm sorry? You should, yes. As long as you're not made up on butter, you'll get the <laughs> It should be a whole new application. Thank you. Have a good one. All right. So if we go, nothing's going to happen. Both sides of the road. Yeah. Yeah. I make a motion to close the meeting. I second that motion. All in favor of adjourning? Aye. Aye. Aye.